Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky here. So I have a few things to talk about in this video. Um, before we start, I'm just going to preface this with saying uh, in this video the content is just going to be me slaying some black demons. Um, I have been trying to progress towards 70 Slayer because I am aiming for 70 plus in all stats. And who knows, I might not actually stop there because I also have to get 70 ranged and 70 magic for 70 plus in all stats. And I'll be getting a range level any second so you guys will be able to see that. But um, anyway, my task is black demons. Um, doing this task without a charm collector and without infernal urns is kind of not the best because you leave all these infernal ashes on the ground and there's no way that I'm going to bank those without a yak. Um, I try to be uh, a little bit efficient in this game and uh, preserve money any way possible, but I'm not going to be going on that level and actually banking infernal ashes. That's just a little bit crazy. Um, and I actually tried to buy infernal urns in the GE. Um, Normally I would be using them, but they would not buy for 10k each. I put in an offer for one urn, just one urn, in the GE for 10k, and it still did not buy. So I'm guessing at the moment there are no infernal urns in the GE. So hey, if anyone has infernal urns, um, the kind that you can trade, um, because I'd really like to buy some, uh, go ahead and just come in my friends chat or anything, and I will buy them for you from you for 500 each. Um, just in an off chance that anyone has Infernal Urns because there is absolutely zero in the GE, um, which is a bit frustrating. But either way, um, I have been training range. Uh, actually, at the start of this task, I was using a rune two-handed crossbow as my weapon um, because that's the weapon I used to get from, oh, 66 range there. But the weapon that I used to get from about uh, 55 to 64 range for the Curse of Arav quest was a rune two-handed crossbow at Waterfiends. Um, and I was thinking the only 60 range weapons were the um, the Dragon Crossbow and the Demon Slayer Crossbow. Uh, the Demon Slayer Crossbow would not buy in the GE, and the Dragon Crossbow is just too expensive um, for me to even consider buying it. So I thought, you know, oh, I'll just stick with this uh, Rune Tainted Crossbow, but it was very, very inaccurate at Black Demons, and it didn't ver hit very high. But um, I found out, actually, that uh, the Red Salamander... Um, you can buy them off the GE, and it's actually a pretty good weapon. So if any of you guys are looking to train range and you're not a high range level, until about level 80, I would say, when you can use the Royal Crossbow, I would recommend to use a Red Salamander if you're between 60 and 70 range, and a Black Salamander if you're between 70 and uh, 80 range until you can use that royal uh, because the ammo is pretty cheap um, if you use abilities you usually don't use any ammo sometimes you'll use up like one tar um, on the first hit uh, if you don't use an ability on the very first hit sometimes that happens um, or if you miss a couple ticks uh, where you normally be use abilities you'll use up a small amount of ammo but you can buy the Harlander tar in the GE for about 120 GP each, so it's not very expensive. It's about roughly the same price as Royal Bolts if you're using like the uh, what's it called, the um, Royal Crossbow at level 80. Um, and it's just it's very good. I found that this um, Red Salamander is far more accurate and hits far harder than the Root. 2H crossbow, um, so I'm very, very glad I picked this up. You actually cannot buy Terramintar off the GE because no one in their right mind makes Terramintar. Uh, you can buy the Harlander Tar, which is for the level 70 Black Salamander. Um, I know probably a lot of people already have level 70 range. Um, but the Terramintar, you can easily make it yourself. Um, one Terramin and 15 Swamp Tar makes uh, 15 Terramintar. Um, and Terramins are incredibly cheap. Swamp Tar isn't very expensive, so that's what I did. I just made some myself. Um, so that's, that is just a tip for anyone that uh, wants to train range and say you're in between the 60 and 80 level range like me. You can't quite use the Royal Crossbow yet, um, and Dragon and Armadillo Crossbows are just too expensive for you. That This is a great, cheap alternative. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's that. Uh, what I did want to talk about is uh, there may be kind of a lack of videos lately. I am going to be extremely busy. Um, I, For those who don't know, I have talked about this a little bit in the past, but I'm in the midst of a job search. Um, I'm, I've been looking for full-time work. I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen. I actually did have a job interview this morning uh, with a phone service company. I'm not going to mention the name because I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, but a cell phone service company, and the interview looked pretty cr promising, and if I did get the job, it would be full-time and have pretty good pay and stuff, so that's really what I'm looking for. At the moment, I am staying at my grandparents' house because they live in a different city than I normally live, um, where there's just a lot more work opportunities here. Um, so they said I could come stay with them until I find full-time work. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been staying at their house and applying for a lot of jobs lately. But just the past couple weeks, um, I have relatives coming to stay with my grandparents as well. Um, and they have younger children that are going to be around the house a lot. Uh, and it's just not really possible to make videos um, when you have younger kids around because there's just a lot of background noise and it does not work well for video making at all. Uh, and on top of that, I do have quite a few job interviews coming up um, in the near future. So I'm going to be working on that as well. Um, so I'll try my best to get out videos uh, as much as I can, but just be aware that I might not have the time to really put towards making full-fledged guides. Um, I'll try to do a couple Slayer vlogs and stuff like that if I can, uh, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, if I'm not the best with video uploading in the, uh, in the recent future, just try to be a little bit patient with me. But anyway, uh, I'm going to continue slaying because um, I should be able to get some really good XP from this task. Actually, at the start of this task, I calculated how much XP I was going to get, and it was going to get me over half this level. Um, I was pretty much fresh into level 69 when I started the task, um, and Black Demons are just such good XP. You get uh, over 300 Slayer XP per kill. Uh, 309 Slayer XP per kill to be exact. That's really, really good. And you also get like 750 range XP-ish. I don't know the exact number, but overall, for XP, this task is very good. The drops are terrible um, if you don't bank the Infernal Ashes. And I won't be since I don't have a, uh, a Yak yet. But anyway, hopefully I will be able to get my hands on some Infernal Urns soon because that would help a lot. Um, and that's going to be about all for this vlog, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned to the next video, which should be coming soon. And just remember my tip with those red and black salamanders. If you're between 70 range and 80 range, don't have that royal crossbow yet, get yourself a red or black salamander. Uh, I highly guarantee them. Highly recommend them. Um, that's all. Join my friends chat, and farewell.